Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sara Lebrek. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a written letter from the Emir of Kuwait, designed Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah, on bilateral relations and the latest regional and international developments, as well as topics of common interest. His Majesty the King received today at Safriya Palace the Kuwaiti Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs Sheikh Sabah Al Khalid Al Hamad Al Sabah, who delivered the Kuwaiti Emir's letter to His Majesty the King. He conveyed to His Majesty the greetings of the Emir and his wishes of further progress and prosperity to the kingdom. His Majesty welcomed welcomed the guest and asked him to convey his greetings and wishes of abundant health and happiness to the Emir and further progress to Kuwait. His Majesty expressed pride in the deep-rooted and historic relations between the two countries in light of the joint keenness on developing them and establishing their pillars, affirming the importance of consultations and coordination to support the work of the Gulf Cooperation Council and the face faced the regional challenges. His Majesty the King hailed the leading role of His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah in bolstering Bahraini Kuwaiti relations and his endeavors to support the course of joint Arab work and defend the Arab nation's causes. For his part, the Kuwaiti Deputy Prime Minister expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King and pride in his efforts to establish cooperation between the two countries, commending the honorable historic fraternal ties between the two countries' people. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today met the Prime Minister of Japan Shinzo Abe. His Royal Highness recognized the importance of further expanding the bilateral relations between Bahrain and Japan, adding that the exchange of visits offer a chance to explore opportunities that benefit both countries and their people. The Crown Prince and the Prime Minister exchanged views on ways to enhance, further enhance cooperation between Bahrain and Japan and reviewed the significant advances made by both countries in developing key economic sectors. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the Private Secretary to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Sheikh Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, and the Ambassador of Bahrain to Japan, Ahmed Mohammed Al Dosri, also attended the meeting. The Legal and Legislative Affairs Ministerial Committee held its regular meeting chaired by Deputy Prime Minister and Head of the Committee, Jawad bin Salim al arayyad in the presence of its member of the Government House Main Auditorium. The committee reviewed the topics and memorandum on its agenda, including bills of law and draft resolutions that the committee studied at the request of the government. The committee took the necessary action and prepared its recommendations to refer them to the cabinet for consolidate, to consideration. The committee also studied several proposals referred from the Council of Representatives and prepared draft responses. The Council of Representatives Speaker Fawzi Azayna received today the President of the National Audit Office, Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, where he presented the, a, her a copy of the 2018-2019 annual report prepared by the National Audit Office. Zainal expressed thanks and appreciation for the role of the National Audit Office in assuming their national tasks and duties under the reform project of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, affirming the Council's keenness to protect public funds and prefer, or perform the legislative and monitoring roles in accordance with the articles of the Constitution and the law. She pointed out that the Council will be notified with the report and will be referred to the concerned committees to follow up on the procedures. The Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Fozi Azena, congratulated the Chairman of the Parliamentary Committees who have been elected yesterday. She commended the democratic spirit and consensus which marked the elections of the committees and stressed lawmakers' keenness on assuming their legislative duties. The Speaker made the statement as she shared a bureau meeting in the presence of First Deputy Speaker Abd Nabi Salman as well as Second Deputy Speaker Ali Zayed. Under the patronage of the Minister of Cabinet Affairs, Mohammed bin Ibrahim al Mtawa, the Kingdom of Bahrain hosts the 5th Bahrain Forum for Excellence, organized by Act Smart PR Consultancy entitled Excellence through Public and Private Sectors Partnerships. More in this report with Hiba Abdel Ghaffar. 
The fifth edition of the Bahrain Forum for Excellence gathers experts and specialists over the course of two days to focus on how the partnership between the public and private sectors can fill the gaps and increase productivity after the application of the voluntary retirement system to achieve financial balance, as well as how to utilize the private sector in terms of expertise and capabilities to undertake part of the non-specialized functions in the public sector. With about five sectors considered as supporting activities within the directorates of the public sectors. I think it's time for the public sector to concentrate on their core business and outsource these um, supporting sectors to specialized organizations from the private sector. This is one of the solutions we are um, looking to um, discuss during the, this conference in order to be able all of us to participate in our national goal of reaching the financial balance target. The forum is also an opportunity for the private sector institutions working in the field of support services such as HR and administrative affairs, public relations and information, legal affairs, IT, accounting, auditing and much more through meeting with the decision makers in various ministries and institutions displaying opportunities for cooperation in order to fill any shortages of human resources at the public sector and contribute towards the growth of the national economy. On the panel discussion on how technology and the modern science can support uh, public sector through empowering private sectors facilitations such as uh, artificial intelligence, uh, chatbots, uh, industry 4.0s and uh, uh, development of such uh, new technologies empowers authorities to uh, perform their duties uh, <clears throat> in more uh, active manners and as we have seen there are shortages in areas where it can be replaced by machines. We talked today about the social media excellence for government entities, how we can support the 2030 strategy utilizing the social media uh, channels. Today social media will support all the messages, the governmental messages. At the end of the opening ceremony, the Minister of Cabinet Affairs, Mohammed bin Ibrahim al mutawa honored the sponsors and speakers at the forum. Bahrain's fifth forum of excellence focuses this year on the partnership between the private and public sectors in order to achieve Bahrain's vision 2030. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Hiba Abdul Ghaffar. The Minister of Interior General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa and the Minister of Oil Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa inaugurated today Bobco's command center designed for oil emergencies and crises in the presence of Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Environment Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa and Chief of Public Security Lieutenant General Tariq Al Hassan. Deputy CEO of Bobco briefed the Interior Minister on the center's preparations and affirmed that it copes with the latest developments in case of emergency cases. He added that the center was created with advanced professionals professionals and experts and also through monitoring the experiences in the leading countries in order to respond strategically to emergency cases. He said that one team managed all emergency cases supported by responding teams in addition to equipping the center with the latest technologies to ensure control and efficiency effectiveness. He added that the center is designed to manage more than one emergency case at the same time. After that, the Minister of Interior and the Minister of Oil toured the center and were briefed on the phases of implementing the exercise of combating oil spills that was held today, organized by the Interior Ministry, the National Oil and Gas Authority, the Supreme Council for the Environment, and with the cooperation of the National Disaster Management Committee. The exercise affirms the capabilities of the participating bodies and the joint cooperation and coordination in assuming the duties, which aim to enhance abilities and the level of readiness. The Minister of Oil expressed appreciation to the Interior Minister for patronizing the event and praised the continuous support of His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince towers the oil and gas sector. He also praised the efforts of Bobco in supporting the emergency management plans.
طبعا بداية ودي أشكر معالي الأخ الشيخ محمد بن خليفة وزير النفط على الدعوة لافتتاح هذا المركز وفي نفس الوقت ودي أيضا أشيد بجهود معالي الوزير في العمل على رفع مستوى الكفاءة والطاقة الإنتاجية للنفط وأجدها فرصة أيضا أني أنا أتكلم عن شركة بابكو الصحيح اللي دائما عرفنا عنها وكانت عاكسة لمستوى الكفاءة والتدريب العالي وهي ما في شك المؤسسة المسؤولة عن مصدر الدخل الرئيسي في البلد وعلى الدوام كانت منصة وطنية تخرج منها العديد من الخبرات والقيادات اللي ساهمت في البناء الوطني بالنسبة لهذا المركز أنا أعتقد أنه راح يكون له على الدوام مردوده الإيجابي في مراقبة إجراءة العمليات والسيطرة والتنسيق مع الجهات المعنية فالحاجة لا ملحة وجاء في الوقت المناسب أأكد على أهمية التدريب الميداني وأنتم مشكورين اللي بادرتوا بهالأمر يعني وعلى قدر ما تكون الفرضيات واقعية بقدر ما نستفيد منها في حالات الطوارئ أأكد على أهمية التعاون وإحنا حاضرين في أي وقت نديم هذا التعاون في وزارة الداخلية ومن خلال رئيس الأمن العام والدفاع المدني هو الجهة اللي أنتم تتعامل معها بشكل مباشر ولكن اللافت في الأمر أنا ودي أشيد بالإجراءات اللي تم اتخاذها في حادثة المنطقة الشرقية وصحيح كان التعامل مع عكس كفاءة عالية وحقق معنوية لدى الجميع على أمكانية استيعاب مثل هذه العمليات الاستهدافية مشكورين وأتمنى لكم التوفيق وأكد على استمرار التدريب المشترك فيما بيننا في المستقبل إن شاء الله شكرا جزيلا Babco takes very seri- seriously its efforts in uh, crisis management, and uh, uh, Bahrain has a national committee that looks at crisis management at uh, nationwide. Uh, part of the initiatives is how to deal with oil spills. Uh, today we have a scenario of an oil spill east of Bahrain, and Babco, uh, GPIC, and uh, the National Oil and Gas Authority with all the oil companies uh, have deployed their assets and resources to deal with the scenario. Uh, together with, of course, the Ministry of Interior and all its departments. Uh, this kind of training is very important and essential. Uh, Babco, over the years, has developed a very robust crisis management and control center. What's very important is that any organization, especially Babco, uh, with strategic importance, it's very important to have a full crisis and emergency response plans. We have, over the years, have been developing and upgrading our processes and we have recently in the last few years have upgraded it to what's called incident command center this is a system which is considered the best system in the world and is utilized by the major oil companies in the world state of the art crisis and emergency response Bobco command center where we gather what's called the level two This is where we have the commander of the uh, incident, and in this case, we are aligned with the national interests as well, along with the different sections where they address the specific issues of the incident itself and address it as, uh, as the incident progresses. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khaled bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, received today the envoy of His Highness the Emir of Kuwait, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Sabah Al Khaled Al Hamad Al Sabah, upon his arrival at Bahrain International Airport today on a short visit during which he conveyed a message addressed to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa from the Emir of the State of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah.
member of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and chairman of the Coordination, Implementation and Follow-up Committee, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, chaired the second meeting of the follow-up committee in the presence of the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Ayman Al Muayyad, and the Council's Assistant Secretary General, Abdul Rahman Askar. His Highness noted the Kingdom was able to make many achievements thanks to the vision of His Majesty the King's representative for charity work and youth affairs chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and will be the capital of youth and sports. He also affirmed that the projects provided by the youth and sports sector will achieve a fair and open competitive environment. Sheikh Faisal noted that transparency and follow-up on projects will be the approach adopted to develop the infrastructure of Bahraini sports. He affirmed the importance of following up on the projects of the committee and establishing an ambitious sports fund pay financial dues and the program for us. His Highness called to quickly complete the required tasks and programs as to start or submitting to His Highness Sheikh Nasser. For their part, Al Muayyad and Askar hailed Sheikh Faisal's attention to all the details of the projects implemented by the youth and sports sector and following up on these projects. The Ministry of Housing began distributing apartments of the residential buildings projects in Jafer on beneficiaries. The Ministry stated that the distribution is a continuation of the construction and infrastructure work and preparation of the project's facilities to receive citizens, noting the Ministry's keenness on adding the procedures for the establishment of beneficiaries' unions to the procedures for the delivery of units. The Ministry also noted that the Jafer buildings project is one of the main projects implemented by the Ministry in the past year in terms of location, technical and design characteristics. The Ministry affirmed that its plan includes constructing over 3,000 residential apartments as part of the Residential Buildings Lane project in various areas in the Kingdom. The Bahrain Businesswoman Society will hold a conference on sustainable development which will be patronized by His Majesty the King's representative for charity work and youth affairs and chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and will be organizing cooperation with the United Nations Industrial Development Organization, UNIDO. The event will be held as part of the International Business Week on November 20th. To mark the occasion, the Bahrain Businesswoman Society organized a press conference alongside UNIDO to discuss the role of sustainable sustainable development in the world of business and innovation. The society expressed thanks and appreciation for His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and Her Royal Highness the wife of His Majesty the King, President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, for their continuous support of Bahraini women. The society hailed the patronage of His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad and affirmed that his Highness represents one of the key personalities who inspire Bahrain's youth through support and by example. The President of the Society, Ahlam Janahi, said that the conference will put Bahrain in the international spotlight as it works towards implementing the objectives of his Economic Vision 2030, key among which is the encouragement of youth for innovation as part of its sustainable development strategies. For his part, the head of the Investment and Technology Promotion Office at UNIDO, Hashem Hussein, expressed thanks and appreciation of His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, and His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad for their support of Bahraini businesswomen in all fields. Hashem Hussein added that Bahrain enjoys a special place in the world of business and innovation and that it possesses a, a plenty of human resources to help Bahrain progress further in all levels and added that Bahrain has become an example to follow for other countries in this field.